But seeing how everyone is gladly welcoming me, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so nervous. I actually thought that I wouldn't be nervous tonight, but I'm very nervous right now. So I hope everyone can help me tonight. We're gonna help him, right? Yes, we are. We're gonna show you so much love, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. We have so much catching up to do. So why don't we go sit down? Shall we do that? Yeah. We're gonna try to be here. Am I made just surreal? Yes. We need a moment. All right. But to officially, yes, welcome you and yourself to the Philippines. We are so thrilled that you are here. You have visited many different countries on this fan meet tour. And you decided to do an additional show right here in the Philippines. I'm assuming this is because of the passionate love of the fans. By experience, the menu passionate love of fans. I think he got the message. Let's keep it that way. Okay. How do you feel about being in Manila? Oh, 제가 거의 한 4년, 5년 동안 촬영만 하면서 굉장히 팬분들을 실제로 만나보고 싶었는데요. For the past four to five years, I've been busy with different shoots, so I really wanted to have the chance to meet my fans. 사실 팬분들이 어 진짜 얼굴을 봐야지만 뭔가 확인할 수 있을 것 같은 마음이 들었어요. And I also thought that I can get the assurance of my fans if I get to see them face to face. But being able to see you guys today, I'm very happy. You have a lot of beautiful fans here in the Philippines, as you can see. Um, I hear though, you know, uh, we, we heard the passion of your fans. I heard that your passion for the fan meeting was tremendous as well. A lot of people have been looking forward to it. In fact, the title of the show, Here and Now, this is a title that you gave yourself, right? So why, why did you do that? What does this mean for you, this title, Here and Now? First of all, I think the moment where you can feel happiness is right now. 그렇기 때문에 here, 지금, now, 여기에서 어, 같이 행복한 시간을 누리고 싶어서 이렇게 짓게 되었습니다. That is why I wanted to have the happiest time right here and now together with you. That's why this is the title of my fan. A lot of Filipino food. 
아, 아도보? 아도보. 왜 오늘 저녁에 먹을 생각이에요? But I'm planning to eat adobo tonight. That's a great choice. I mean, it is, it is a flagship dish of the country, so I hope you enjoy that. Okay, um, let's move on to our next message. Can we see the next message, please? Okay, so this is about um, the music that you listen to, perhaps a fan who is curious about your playlist. Are there any particular songs that you've been listening to a lot lately? Okay, I'm seeing titles like, ooh, a lot of Jason Raz. Coldplay, you a fan of Coldplay, yes? Oh my, Beyonce, Love on Top. You, you are on the top of our love list, that's for sure. Okay. To be rather than loud songs, I tend to listen to quieter songs more. Of course, suiting the new weather of Korea, now it's autumn. So I think I tend to listen to slow paced songs more. We like slow songs, right? Especially if you want to slow song. Is it possible for you to maybe give us a little sample of the slow song that you like? Okay, Jason, where is it? Lucky Love Do you guys know the song Lucky by Jason Raz? I'll really sing it shortly, okay? Do you hear me? I'm talking to you Across the water, across the deep blue Ocean under the ocean's love Oh my, baby, I'm trying Oh my god, yes, he's such a good singer! Thank you, thank you for indulging us <laughs> That song is going to our playlist tonight, obviously. Okay, we feel so lucky to have heard that. Thank you. Um, let's move on to our next message, please. Okay, this is about travel. Um, and it's a question related to Korea. If there is a place that you could recommend to somebody who is visiting the country for the first time, what place would that be? 저는 개인적으로 풀을 굉장히 좋아하거든요. I personally like looking at grass. 그래서 서울 숲이라는 곳을 가봤어요. So one time I went to the Seoul Forest. 거기가 낮에도 너무 너무 예쁘지만 저녁에도 조명이 굉장히 잘 되어 있어서 꼭 추천해요. Of course, the Seoul Forest in the morning is very beautiful, but in the evening, the nightlights are so beautiful. So that's why I want to recommend this to you too. Keep hungry. Sounds romantic. Oh ha. Okay. Um. I know that you're also very busy, you know, as you said uh, a few moments ago, you've been busy working, you know, shooting projects and stuff like that. So I'm assuming you haven't had time to travel that much. Is there a must-visit attraction in Korea that you yourself have not been able to visit yet? There are actually a lot because for my work, I mostly stay in Seoul. 그래서 사실 한국에도 이렇게 지방이나 외곽 쪽이 굉장히 예쁜 자연이 많거든요. But in reality, in Korea, even the provinces and the other regions, there are a lot of beautiful places too. 그래서 정말 좀 사람 없는 조용한 자연, 한국에 있는 자연을 한번 쳐다보고 싶어요. So if I get the chance, I would love to visit places with not much people and where I can enjoy the nature. All right, sounds good. Yeah, he's in like you're in like a chill phase right now. Yes. Okay, we understand. But let's talk about food, which also goes hand in hand with traveling. Um, can you tell us about your favorite Korean dish? Because Korean food is so popular right now, worldwide. What does Anyoza like? Oh, 너무 많은데요. 최근에 찜닭 떠오르는 거는 찜닭. There are a lot of food, but recently I really got into steamed chicken. So if you get the glass noodles together with the steamed chicken with rice, it's good. May not experience that on Jim Tak. Jim Tak. Okay, we're gonna Google that recipe and we're gonna make that because that is the favorite dish of Anjosa. Okay, we have to know what that's like. 
All right, well, I'm sure that, um, you know, our Puntaks here are super excited to visit Korea and check out those attractions and the dishes that you mentioned. And who knows, maybe they'll even bump into you. We might get lucky. Let's move on to our next question, please. Aha, we're going to travel a little uh, to your past. We want to know uh, what it was like for you when you were a child, because we know that you grew up in Canada. Right? What Wait. was that like for you? Oh, I think I lived a quiet life. I tried my best not to give a headache to my parents. And mostly I would go to school, the library at home, that would be my daily routine. Wow. So it's kind of boring, right? It's not boring when you speak in English like that all of a sudden. Okay. No, but I mean, if we take it back to the question, a quiet, a cool kid, quiet kid, an intelligent kid, is there one in particular you think that is exactly like the kind of kid that you were? Uh, to be honest, I was kind of a nerd. I was not a nerd. I was always a nerd. You, you can be a nerd all you want if, if you're going to sound like that. Okay. No, but you must have been a very popular kid. Like, I mean, someone just screamed right now in Korean, you're so good looking. Were you like that crush on Bayan? Did everyone have a crush on you? You were like a crush on Bayan, Peksha. No? No. Unbelievable. You weren't. Okay, we find that hard to believe. So you were a model student, it seems like. Is it possible? Like, do we have a picture or something? I mean, can we show them what you were like? No, there's plenty of this. Yeah. Okay. So I've got some pictures. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, let's take a look. Okay. Okay. You are so cute! Yeah, Rachel. The, the photo on the left, it was when I was in grade 5. And the thing I'm wearing right now, that's actually a violin. And I used to be in a school orchestra since I was like grade 5. Right, because you know, you're, you're a singer, you're a musician. Um, I know that you play the piano as well, the violin. I mean, you're super talented. So you started young with the violin. Alright. What about the picture on the right? The photo on the right was taken in Korea. Uh, so I was living in Canada, but alone I came back to Korea, and this photo was took when I was in high school in Korea. I, I don't know why you were not, like, you know, why not, why everyone did not have a crush on you, like, I... <laughs> <laughs> When I was in school, I would always walk looking at the ground. Uh, no, but it's good. I think that kind of developed you into the character that you are today, which we adore, so that's fine. But let's talk about um, the show, A Time Called You, which was... Yes. Obviously fans, this is a recent release on Netflix. You played the role of Nam Shi Han as a high school student, right? Can you tell us about the similarities and differences between Nam Shi Han and you? Since we're looking at a high school picture of you. Of course, we have similarities and differences, but the uh, very big difference that we have is we have very different characters. Because I think compared to Nam Shion, I was very quiet and I didn't have that much friends. But the similarities that we have is... I think I also was able to approach my friends who are very quiet and alone. Because I can't help to see my friends being alone or quiet, so I think through those opportunities, I get to make my friends. 
Oh, he's such a good guy. This is why we love you. One of the many reasons that we love you. Let's give him a round of applause. I can see how, you know, your friends at that time probably got a lot of comfort, you know, from your friendship with them as well. So again, the show is called A Time Called You. It's very popular. Make some noise if you've seen it. And of course, if you haven't yet, we should already have binge watched this, like yesterday. So please do that. And that brings us to our last message. Let's take a look together. This one is special. Uh, let's read it. For me, Opa is an example for us to become better. I want Opa to live well, so I also have to live well and work hard. I once read a saying that chasing an idol is a great act of secret love. So what do the fans mean to you? It's such a heartfelt, uh, sincere message that maybe displays like the relationship between an artist and their fans. You know, it's very positive. It's very uh, energy giving. You know, to each other. So. What do your fans do to you? I think... You guys make me who I am. I can only exist because of you guys. And I'm not lying at all because... Um, the only reason why I'm here right now is because... You've always supported me, sent love to me. And I'm very grateful for that. And, uh, 어렸을 때는 뭔가 유명해진다? 혹은 영향력이 있다라는 게 굉장히 부담스러웠어요. When I was young, the idea of being famous or being a person who gives influence to other people was a very big burden for me. 그래서, 어, 항상 그거를 좀 회피했었는데, 지금은 어떻게 하면 좋은 영향력이나 어떻게 하면 좋은 메시지를 조금 더 좋은 세상을 만들 수 있을지에 대해서 고민을 하는 것 같아요. That's why I try my best to go far away from this. However, these days, I try my best to think on how I can give a better influence, good influence, and good things to my fans, to other people that see me. Wow, wow. Um... <laughs> such a, a heartfelt message. So, we understand that's how you feel about you and your fans in general, but I was wondering, do you have a special message just for your fans who are here right now? Here and now, right? The ones who actually made it out to the arena today to spend this time with you. Do you want to send them a special message? I uh, felt I think there is a lot of love in this room right now. To think that this place is filled with love and we are able to share this love is a very meaningful and precious time. Even if it's not for long, I hope in this short moment of time we get to share this love and you receive this much love tonight. If you receive that love, make some noise, people. Woo! Alright. We received it 100% in our hearts. What a great way to wrap up this segment. Once again, it was called Happy Hour. If you enjoyed it, please give it up for Anjo's Hop, everyone. All the shows that you have done, all the work that you have done. So here, we're going to watch some videos together and we're going to talk about them. You have showed us very diverse sides of you through the characters that you have played. So it was kind of hard for us to narrow it down. So what we did was we threw it to the fans and they voted for their favorite character. Let us take a look at the ranking first. Okay, in first place, Kang Tae from Business Proposal. I should have started with a third. Okay, third place goes to Hyam from Lovers of the Red Sky. Second place is Ho Jin from Dr. Romantic. First place is Kang Tae from Business Proposal. Does this reflect your choices, everyone? 
Okay, good. But what, what do you think about the ranking that we have here? Oh, <laughs> 네, 되게 재밌는 게 어, 제가 지금 아시아 투어를 돌면서 나라마다 순위가 다 조금씩 달라요. It's very fun to see because in every tour that I go in every country that I visit, there are a lot of differences in the ranking. 그래서 아, 마닐라는 또 이렇게 좋아해 주시는구나. 어딘 또 이렇게 좋아해 주시는구나 보고 되게 재밌게 다니고 있습니다. And I can see right now that the Manila fans love this ranking and I think this is also a very fun thing to see in my different tours. I'm sure it wasn't easy for the fans to choose one as well, but we are curious about the rankings, so let's hear the opinions of those who chose your character in Lovers of the Red Sky. Let's take a look at this. We'll read through um, the thought behind choosing this one. Can we take a look, please? Or I will just read. Oh, there we go, okay. Hyosop juggling three characters in Lovers of the Red Sky blew my mind. His warmth and gentleness shone through Haram, yet his tenacity and manliness shone through Mawa. Being able to portray two extremely contrasting characters in one drama shows the amazing flexible acting skills of An Hyosop. Make some noise if you agree. We have um, something that follows this. Would you like to read that one? Um, Lovers of the Red Sky is the first K-drama that I watched, and because of that, I cannot forget his name as well as his face. Is your voice really that buttery? Like, is that your speaking voice? My goodness! Especially when you're talking in English. Okay, alright. Here we go. Okay, this okay, this character though, it really did resonate with a lot of us. It must have been really challenging to play uh, three different characters in one show. What did the character Haram from Lovers of the Red Sky mean to you? We want to know. 일단 저한테는 굉장히 도전이었고요. First of all, it was a very big challenge for me. 사극이라는 장르도 처음이었고, and of course, since this is a history drama, it was my first time. 어 특히 이제 마왕이라는 게 있어요. And of course, I had to be the Mawang. Um, it's like it's like a. Uh, what do you call it? If there was a devil inside me, and I had to I had to act act the devil. 근데 그때 분장이 엄청 오래 걸렸어요. But for me to act as the devil king, it really took so much time for my makeup. 어 처음에 분장을 세 시간 받고 어, 굉장히 충격받은 기억이 있습니다. The first time I received the makeup for three hours, I cannot remember how shocked I was. 하지만 결국에는 로맨스 드라마이기 때문에 어, 유정 씨와 이 사랑에만 집중을 하려고 노력을 했습니다. But in the end, since this is a romance drama, I tried my best to focus on the love I have for Yujung. Very interesting. And it really was a remarkable show. You know, as you say, it was a period piece. And then you had to do all that makeup. Um, I'm sure that it was a very memorable show for you. And there were numerous iconic scenes on the show, Lovers of the Red Sky. Let's take a look at some of the iconic scenes together. And Sorry about the scene. 원래는 이제 천기가 저를 그냥 끌고 나가는 신이었어요. Originally, the scene was Chunggi pulling me out. 근데 리허설을, 하, 리허설을 하다가 어, 바지가 벗겨질 것 같은 거예요. But while we were rehearsing the scene, I felt like my pants were gonna fall down. 그래서 감독님한테 어 벗겨지면 어떨까요라고 제가 먼저 물어봤었어요. So I asked right away to the director, director, how about my pants fall down? 그래서 이런 장면이 탄생하게 됐습니다. So that allowed this scene to come to life. Who's happy that his pants fell down? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what a genius idea that was. Thank you for that gift. <laughs> no, it, it really made the scene so much more enjoyable. Um, thank you. And thank you for sharing the behind story. How interesting. Okay, and I think it's these, you know, they're short, but these comedic moments that you showed us that really made us look forward to you know, your, your future projects as well. So let's move on to the show that is in second place, which is Dr. Romantic! You 
my intelligent, of course, in Dr. Romantic. Let me read the reasons why the fans chose this drama and this character, okay? This reads, I am in the medical field profession and seeing Seo Jin approach everything with passion despite any fears has given me a lot of courage, she says. Can you read the next line, please? Uh, Dr. Romantic is my favorite Korean drama, which has been a great source of inspira inspiration for me, uh, aspiring to become a doctor. It motivates me to pursue my dreams. Um, wow. Good for you. That is an amazing message. Um, I think Sojin was a character that was maybe similar to you. Would you agree? Um, and let's talk about Sojin's growth, right? In your opinion, what was the most significant aspect of Sojin's growth or change that we witnessed on the show? Ujin was a character that had a lot of similarities with me. 실제로 처음 우진이가 처음 우진이가 등장했을 때 굉장히 부정적이고 시니컬하고 그런 인물이었거든요. When Ujin was first shown, he was shown as a pessimistic and cynical character. 근데 그때 제가 촬영했을 당시에 저도 어, 조금 부정적인 면이 있는 사람이었던 것 같아요. And actually, during our shoot, I myself as a person was very pessimistic too. 근데 우진이가 돌담 병원을 가서 but as Ujin began to enter into the hospital and he began to experience this growth, I think actor An Hyosop too experienced the same growth. 그래서 실제로 촬영이 다 끝났을 때 친구들이 어너 되게 성격이 유해졌다, 되게 좋아졌다라는 말을 많이 들었던 것 같아요. That's why a lot of my friends, when they saw me after the project, they told me, Oh, Hyosop, you've changed. You've become more loose, you've become more comfortable. And I think that allows me to have a deeper connection with this character. Wow, it's, it's kind of like method acting, but not. Like, you know, you really embodied that character, you became that character. That's so fascinating. Let's take a look at some of those wonderful scenes, again, from Dr. Romantic. Let's watch this. ご存じですか？ご存じですか？ご存じですか？ご存じですか？ご存じですか？ご存じですか？ご存じですか？ご存じですか？ご存じですか？ご存じですか？ご存じですか？ご存じですか？ご存じですか？ご存じですか？ご
I mean, when we hear that story, it's like we're not watching the character, we're watching you, like I knew of the person in that scene, and that is so special. And what a perfect fit you were for that character. Thank you for sharing that with us. The show in the number one spot, of course, we have the highly anticipated business proposal. Business proposal has taken the number one spot on Netflix, not only in the Philippines, but also in Thailand, Japan, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Taiwan, Vietnam, and Hong Kong. So it's not surprising that many fans have chosen this as their favorite, and I'm sure they have many reasons. But let's take a look at this one. When going through tough times, I laughed a lot while watching Business Proposal, and it helped me forget my pain. Laughter improved my health a lot. I am very grateful for this drama. Can you read the next line, please? Uh, I think Kante was wrong when he was up there. He was up happy. It was wonderful to see you shooting happily and comfortably. I hope you always stay happy. Thank you. And you're right. 맞습니다. 이게 예, 실제로 제가 이 작품을 하면서 어, 아, 정말 이렇게까지 재밌을 수 있구나라는 생각을 한번 쉬웠던 것 같아요. While I was doing business proposal, I really thought, oh, I didn't know you could have this much fun in shooting. Oh, okay. So earlier, I thought maybe the fans, you know, had a hard time choosing, but turns out that this character actually won by a landslide here in the Philippines. 61.5% of you voted for this character as your favorite. Who voted for Kang Temu? Okay, a lot, a lot, okay. Why do you think uh, the fans love Kang Temu so much? Kang Temu is Kang Temu, but I think that all the people have a question. Well, despite the character Kang Temu, I think everyone has something that they think about. But it's just a little bit. 그런 고민들을 내려놓고 편하게 즐겁게 볼수 있는 작품이어서 그렇지 않을까 싶습니다. I think the reason why the fans love this drama so much is because through this drama they can put down what they're thinking about, what they're burdened about, and also have a good time through this drama too. 그리고 뭐 강태무 완벽하잖아요. And you can see Kangtemu is perfect, right? Do you agree? <laughs> uh uh, I think I'm not done. Uh uh, but yes, let's talk about the character. You know himself, Kang Temu. I know you've talked about you know just the, the show and um, your experience playing him as well. But just from your perspective, from your perspective, what do you think is the charm of Kang Temu that had everyone just fall in love with him? 정말 모든 것을 잘하는 완벽한 남자지만 he's a perfect man who can do everything well. 그렇지만 그 안에는 아직 순수한 사랑을 믿는 그런 아이 같은 모습들이 비춰졌을 때 but deep inside him you can see his pure image where he's just like a child ready to get love 어, 그런 모습들이 좀 와닿지 않았을까라는 생각을 합니다 when this purity of Kang Temu is reflected through the different scenes I think this touched the hearts of the fans too 한도 없는 카드도 있고요 and of course the limitless card <웃음> A very clear breakdown of the character, thank you very much. But I also have no doubt that the fans loved it because you yourself became Kang Temu. All right, let's take a look at an iconic scene from the show Business Proposal. Let's watch this. Now I've got to take a question to some of them. How do you think Again, um, this is where you are giving Hari a heart-cluttering kiss. 
Um, this was a scene that really made everyone's heart race. I mean, just watching it now, you know, I'm, I'm feeling it all over again. How did you feel while filming this scene? Oh, uh, 일단 엄청 추웠어요. <laughs> First of all, it was very cold. But <laughs> uh, one thing I remember. 의자, 그러니까 그네가 두 개가 있고 한 번은 하리가 저를 밀쳐내고 다시 또 호프를 하러 가야 되는데 There were two swing seats and what was supposed to happen is Harry would push me out of the seat and she would kiss me. 근데 그게 너무 어색해서 감독님이랑 세정 씨랑 계속 엄청 오랫동안 고민했던 것 같아요. But that scene was so awkward that's why Sejong and the director thought about this and talked about this for such a long time. 근데 결국에는 되게 귀엽게 나온 것 같아서 네, 되게 재밌게 찍었던 것 같습니다. But conclusively, I can see that the scene came out really cute, so I also had a very fun time. No, we couldn't tell at all that there was any kind of awkwardness before that. Great job. Um, speaking of romantic comedies, you show us, you know, your romantic comedy skills once again in a show called uh, A Time Called You, right? And we're just curious, you know, when it comes to like romantic comedy acting, is there anything in particular that you are mindful of, perhaps? Um, 아무래도 저는 얼굴에서 제일 거짓말하지 못하는 게 눈빛이라고 생각하거든요. I think in all the facial features, what cannot hide that you're lying is your eyes. 내가 이 감정을 가짜로 하면 분명히 사람들은 알 것이다 라는 생각을 했어요. I thought if I would show this emotion in a fake way, the viewers would know right away. 그래서 최대한 진심으로 집중해서 몰입하려고 했던 것 같습니다. So that's why I tried my best to really get into the moment and do the truthful emotions. I think, you know, maybe not just in your shows, but even as you are sitting here right now and having this conversation with your fans, we can feel your sincerity and how you put so much thought into your, your answers and you know you're very honest. Do, do you guys feel that? Yes! We can see it in your eyes. Can we? Oh. <laughs> so we super appreciate you you know sharing these stories with us and allowing us to catch up and allowing us to know like you know what's going on in your life. Let's stand up and conclude. That brings us to the end of the segment. Once again, it was An Yosop shooting time. Please give him a big round of applause if you enjoyed that one. Of course, this is not the end. Uh, we're gonna come back. We have a lot of activity. <laughs> 
We really enjoyed uh, that performance. Um, you did, right? Make some noise, guys. Show him. Make him feel it. We truly enjoyed watching you dancing on the stage. Is there a reason why you particularly chose to do that for us today? Oh, uh, 일단 오랜만에 만나는 것만 아니, 처음 만나는 것만큼 정말 준비된 무대를 보여드리고 싶었고요, 많은 모습들을 보여드리고 싶었습니다. Since this is the first time we get to meet each other, I wanted to come prepared and I wanted to show you a lot of different sides of me. Yes. <laughs> I'm kind of shy right now, embarrassed because I made some mistakes. What? We didn't even notice! No! We were too busy fanning ourselves from the heat that our bodies were generating watching you. No problem. Okay. No, but we were just talking about how you're a great dancer, a great singer, a great actor. Hindi tayo talaga nagkamale coming to the show tonight, right? Okay, we're so happy to be here. All right, so from here on out, we're gonna see a different side of you. So we prepared a segment, right? And it's called, let's take a look at this. This segment is called Port Duck Mission. Okay, Port Duck Mission. Again, the fans are nicknamed Port Duck. And if you guys see the clock, ayan. Anyosok himself designed that and he drew that himself. How cute is that? So you draw as well. My goodness, it doesn't stop. All right. So, <laughs> as the segment title implies, um, you're going to perform various missions on this segment. And these are missions that were sent by the fans. So when you complete the mission, you will then obtain a gift that is, of course, for the fans also. So you basically have to be successful in all of the missions so that the fans can get a gift. Is that, yeah? We like this arrangement, yes? It's all about us. <laughs> Alright, are you ready? Are you ready? I'll do it. Alright, let's give him a big round of applause as we go through each mission. Let's see how he does. We're rooting for you because I want the fans to get this prize. Okay, we're gonna stand back here and you can own the stage and do your thing. You can you can start wherever. Alright? Alright, here we go. If you're ready. Port Jack Mission. Let's go! With a big round of applause, everyone. Let's cheer him on. Oh. Take photos with Port Jacks. Oh, take photos with Port Jacks. Okay. This one, okay. We're gonna pan the camera in the audience. Okay? So this is going to be up on the screen. Okay, if you want to take a picture with him on the screen, raise your hands. You know, magpapapansin tayo, ganyan, ganyan. And then, we're gonna put you side by side on the screen. And you will have three poses to do together. Okay? Okay, sample, sample. Can you, can we do one together to show them? Okay. Ang sample Where's the camp? I'm over here. Direct, direct, I'm over here. Direct. Pwede rin naman ako tumabi sa kanya since I'm on stage, no? No, but just so we can show them. Okay, okay. I, you know what, I think they get it. We all get it, right? You know how it's done, all right? So we're gonna pan the camera already, right? We can pan the camera, let's start. And let's put you side by side, next to Angosa. All right. Who's the lucky fan who will get three shots? Oh! Hi! She, is she the lady who's traveled from Singapore? Or not? Okay, that's fine too. It doesn't matter where you came from, but congratulations! Okay, so we're gonna do three poses together. Let's start with, of course, the ever famous V. You wanna do the V? Yeah? Okay. Alright! <laughs> okay, okay, that was the first shot. Alright. Hard, hard pose, hard pose. You can choose what heart you want. Next one, next one. Maybe put your finger on your cheek. 
Like this, fuck you pose. Well, my sumi is friend. <laughs> Come on, she's not. Okay, all right. Congratulations. That is how it's done. We're gonna do this one more time with a different fan naman. Who wants to do this? Who wants to do this? Okay, let's pan the camera. Damn it. Oh! Oh, 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 wow! Well, it pays to stand up and be noticed. I didn't even win. Oh, do we have a winner? Do we have a winner? Oi, Bereka! Oi, Denise! Okay, si Derek is medyo ano, paasa siya. But just let us know when you've made up your mind, okay? Okay, is it this this fan? Do we are we decide that final answer? Final answer. Okay, one final answer now. Alright. Okay. Are you ready? This is your first pose. As we did earlier. B. Letter B. Victory. B. Ready? B, okay. Together, ayan. Three, two, one. Oh, cute. Okay. Next is heart. Your choice of heart. Which one would you like? Oh, matching down. Ayan. Magkapila ang hearts. Para makabuo ng heart. Okay, our third pose. Would you like to do one and they can and she can do it with you? Which one would you like? Go, go, go. A little closer. There. There. See the mask. Go back. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. My goodness, this is more suspense filled than any kind of show. All right. Although I think your next mission might be wiping the sweat off your face. Can I just, can I just remove the tissue on your... <laughs> We don't, we don't want this. We, you want this. There you are. Okay, okay. Mission number two. Reenacting a famous scene line, but in English. Okay. We know, of course, your famous lines from your shows, but we've heard them in Korean. We want to hear you reenact them in English. You guys want that? You want to hear that? Oh, ibarindo. Okay. Which lines are we going to do? Can we take a look? Oh, of course. From our number one ranking show, Business Proposal. <laughs> oh, what the, this is so hard. Is it harder when you're when you have to do it in English? Because my whole life I've been acting in Korean, I think this would be very difficult for me. But I'll try, I'll try. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll do it now. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> this line in Korean itself was very difficult to say. Oh, because like, did you feel like you know you're so full of it? And... Yes, yes. All right. But come on, take two. One more. One more. We got this. 
I'm good at many things. Now I believe you! I really believe you! Let's give her a round of applause, guys. Not like a challenge to for him, huh? Obviously. Okay, one down. We have two more to go. Our next show, please. A time called you. Oh, this is a good line. 이거 조금 바꿔도 되나요, 제가? Can we change it? Can I change it? Like how? 어, 번역이 조금 다른 것 같아서 제가 기억나는 한국 대사 번역해서 하겠습니다. I think there's a difference in the translation, so I'd like to translate it in English and how I remember it in Korean. Uh, so you're gonna interpret that for us on the spot, and on. Okay, my goodness, okay. It's too much! Okay, but please, go ahead. No matter what time you're in, no matter what time you're in, I'll always find you. Please, please find me because I cannot find myself. I cannot find myself right now. No, that, that interpretation was so much better, so much better, right? My goodness, like 100 times more the killing factor. Okay, okay, okay. Next line, please. Dr. Romantic. Okay, this is interesting because there's actually a sound that you make which I don't think we can translate, right? Do you want to say the sound first that you're going to say? The last part of the line. Doing good. But again, action do have to do. Actually, you should do the motion too. Oh, you're gonna do the motion as well. Perfect. Okay, when you're ready. Okay. Okay. I'll do it now. No, I don't want to. Don't play. Oh my god! <laughs> too adorable. Too parang ano, knockout yun. Knockout, knockout. Alright, that was amazing. Let's give him a big round of applause. <coughs> Challenge model runway. You know, because our stage is really perfect for you to um, pretend like it's a runway and model for us, right? And of course, we don't have to elaborate on your model-esque physique, right? Oh! Oh! Here we go! I've heard the song before. Okay, so we can give you a version that is an emoji, so it's not too difficult for you to follow. You can practice a few times, and then we're gonna, you know, have the real thing. All right, let's let's look at the emoji version of this challenge. Okay. Where's? Can we see the? What? Yeah. What's going on? Can we see the emoji version of the K-pop challenge, please? 
so that he can kind of do the moves. There we go. Okay, thank you, Jay. Okay, I'll do it now. Oh, we have prop spot. Yes, you can. You should wear that. Super cute. But it's too big. It's, I think that's kind of the point. Yes, it looks great. It's so cute. Okay, leave yeah, it. I'm ready. I'm on that joke, yeah. I'll do it again. Okay, one more time, one more practice round. Here we go. T-shirts. I'm wearing a bench T-shirt. We're both wearing bench. We love it. And then the fan will take a Polaroid photo with Andrew Scott on stage. So, if you can choose four winners, please. I'm really thankful to everyone right now. Thank you guys so much, really. With all my heart. So much. Please know that you're always welcome in the Philippines and that we will always be supporting you in the various projects that you have in the future. Right? If you agree, please give them a big round of applause, everybody. And thank you so much for doing your best for your fans today. All right, at this point, I would like to call on stage Mr. Ben Chan, of course, the chairman of Bench. Please help me welcome him with a big round of applause. Is that here? Yes. Is this a good spot? with Anne yourself. Would you like to do that? All right, I'm going to leave you to it. Once again, my name is Sam Hall. Thank you, everybody, and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Thank you. So you're always on there. Did you guys have fun? Uh, I like this as well. It's a lot of fun. Being able to see you guys in real life is just like a dream. 
정말 제 진짜 진심의 모습만 보여드리고 싶었거든요. I always wanted to, I only wanted to show you guys my true self. 그래서 어, 어떻게 보이는지 모르겠지만 저는 너무 즐거웠고 너무 감사한 시간이었습니다. I don't know how you guys saw me tonight, but for me, I had so much fun, and I'm very thankful for tonight. 그리고 진심으로 사랑합니다. And I truly love you all. 이제 마지막 곡을 남겨두고 있는데요. Now only my last song is in store for you. Um, still with you, 라고. It's a song entitled Still with you. 여러분이 어디 언제 어디 있든 우리는 함께라는 의미에서 불러보겠습니다. Whenever or wherever you are, I want to promise you that we are together always.
마지막으로 그냥 편하게 제가 집에서 그래서 마지막 그 피아노 춤을 노리고요. I played with my piano at home. 그런 것처럼 그냥 편하게 그냥 노래 불러볼게. So I'm thinking of just comfortably singing with the piano. 틀릴 수도 있고, I might make a mistake. 근데 그냥 재밌게 놀았으면 좋겠습니다. 괜찮아. 잘하지 못해요. I'm really not good. 제가 사내마선에서 Did you guys remember uh, the scene where I played the piano in this proposal? Yeah. I'm gonna play this song.
you know, really, I'm um, at home, usually I just uh, fool around with my piano and just, um, that's how I rest in my uh, off days. So I just, wanted, I just wanted to show you a sneak peek of how I live at home. <laughs> Shall I sing? This is actually my 10 year old music sheet book. Do you guys understand Korean songs at all? I'll try this one. Nothing's gonna change my life.
진심으로 사랑합니다. Once again, I thank you guys with all my heart and your peace. I love you guys all so much, so much. Oh, yeah.